Today's project starts off with some one inch PVC pipe and one and a quarter. Next, we're gonna grab some green spay paint and remember, go some light coats because we don't want it to run. Next thing we're gonna do is take that one and a quarter inch PVC pipe and we're gonna just pound it into the ground. We don't wanna hit it too hard because it is PVC and it will crack. We're gonna need one on each side of the sidewalk. What we're gonna do is then take the one inch PVC pipe that was painted and we're gonna insert that in. That way it's easy to stand up. Using some 90 degree elbows, we're gonna put those on the sides and we're gonna make us an archway across the sidewalk. Then we're gonna grab some garland. I got 50 foot here and we're gonna start at the bottom and we're gonna zip tie it because we want it to make sure that it stays right in place. Now, do remember, we have 50 foot of this, so don't go light. Once you get that thing zip tied on there, cut off the excess zip tie, and then we're just gonna start wrapping. Now, if a little bit of that PVC pipe is showing, it's okay, that's why we painted it green. But let's go ahead and wrap that garland all the way around. I did cut some off at a time because it makes it easier than trying to wrap the whole thing at one time. Once we get that thing all wrapped up, let's grab us a rope light. This is the key to making this holiday arch look spectacular. Go ahead and start at the bottom right there on the end, and you're going to use that zip tie again. Make sure the white part of the rope light is showing. That is where the lights are going to shine. What we want to do is just use the zip ties as sparingly as possible, and you're going to make the design as much as you want, any type and any kind you want. Here I'm going with the loop effect right across the top. Make sure the zip ties aren't too tight because that way you can adjust the rope as needed. And then it's time to put some bows because remember this is a holiday arch. So once we get the bow on there, go ahead and just make it nice and straight and it's going to look good. Next we're going to take some other holiday decorations. This is plastic so it's great for the outdoors and it just clips right on. You can use as many of these as you want and decorate that as well as you want. Also you can put some ornaments on it. The great thing, it looks great. Look at that bow. But remember we put that rope light on? It looks good now, but just wait and watch this. Once the night starts to fall and we turn the rope light on, it comes alive. Look at that spectacular colors that just radiate from our holiday arch. And the great thing is, it's any type of sequence or effects that you want. And it looks great. Now the family came out and decided to wrap my holiday arch the way they want it. And look at that. I think it actually looked better. You can't blame them because this is just amazing. And with that green color that we have on there, it definitely makes this look like a Christmas holiday arch. I hope you enjoyed this project as much as I did making it. Here is my metal arch. And what I'm getting ready to do is to decorate it to go, transition from one room to another. You can see I've ribbon draped everywhere. This is not a terribly expensive thing. You can buy these on Amazon. And what I am going to do is decorate this to transition into um, a holiday dinner table. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take my ribbon and wrap it around. And I, I wanna wrap it right underneath here. So I'm going to take it right around here and then I'm going to tie it really tightly right here and then I will tie a bow and put a nice swag and that will add to our entrance and help to secure our archway. So there we go. And I'm going to tie my bows for my swags to welcome people under the archway and I'm just going to hand tie a couple of bows. I'm just gonna tie these bows, like I said, and add some swags so that, um, and it's all just to make sure that arch is secure because it really is made for outdoors where you can secure it to the ground. Okay, my little swags are there and you would never know that they are there to make sure that our arch is more secure. And now it's time to start decorating our arch for Christmas. Okay, I'm going to start with garland and I'm just going to put my garland right, <laughs> and I lost, I lost a pine cone, but that's okay, it will get added. And I'm gonna put my garland right along here. And this is the kind of garland that, um, these stems are kind of wiry. So if I don't need to use these um, pipe cleaners, I won't. That way I'm also covering up 
the white frame a little bit. And I'm just gonna twist these around it. That's why this garland with the wiry um, stems is really good for this. And you can decorate this. I mean, I am adding plaid ribbon, but you could um, add any color. You know, if you're using red velvet this year or a black and white buffalo check, you can add anything. Now I've added one more piece of garland and this one actually does have some mistletoe. These are, li these are little mistletoe berries up here. And then I'm just going to start adding some more uh, greenery to enhance it. Now this is what I mean about the ones that are not wiry. This is going to have to be attached with some pipe cleaners but I really like this is um, plastic, but it's so lush. So I'm going to just, and we're just gonna make this look really full, almost like it's a, a tree is arched over top of you. And I'm just going to use my pipe cleaner and just make this really full. And I have a piece for the other side too. Actually I have a piece for uh, across the top that I can use also. So that's what you do is you just go around and Fill in, see, I'm just gonna fill in that hole like so, anywhere you feel like you have a hole. And now it's looking pretty good. Okay, I have all of the greenery that I wanna have on here, and now I'm gonna add some shatterproof ornaments. I'm just going to feed a pipe cleaner through it, through them, and they're always so much prettier when you add them in clusters, so I'm gonna add two or three at a time. I'm gonna take them. Oh, and one little tip I have is always take some hot glue and glue those little tops on. If not, they love to pop right off. And then I'm going to go and feed the pipe cleaners right down through the greenery and attach them. And if they are not long enough, you can just extend the uh, pipe cleaners by adding another pipe cleaner to them and that'll add a nice pop of color and the reflection. And this will be a great place for guests to take pictures too. So that's all you need to do to add your ornaments. I'm gonna go ahead and add a whole bunch more ornaments to it, and then I'll show you the final product. So there you have it, coming or going. You have a beautiful Christmas archway, again, you have these swags on either side that, shh, don't tell, those are helping to hold our arch and it's laden with artificial evergreens. And you're gonna walk over the little Christmas entry to a Christmas table. And then when we turn around, you're going to see this Beautiful arch, all decorated for Christmas with big, beautiful ornaments. So there's lots of detail to it with holly and the ornaments. But there you are. So if you have something grand planned this holiday season, this might be something that you want to think about or even for future holidays. So I hope this is something that you want to try this year.